Hello from Tokyo! Today I'm going to do an experiment and pour over different items using paint of a thin consistency. I'll put all the colors in the description box below as well as the pouring medium. So let's get started with layering the cup. I'm reusing a cup here. So what I'm going to do initially is do a ring pour and then on top of that I will lay my first item, it's a kitchen item, and pour over that. So here we go with the first kitchen item. It's a citrus squeezer. I think it's more of a grapefruit size. And I'm going to just pour the colors individually over the top to see what happens. I'm just slightly lifting up the citrus squeezer to help with the flow of the paint. I can tell here though that the black and the white are kind of mixing up into a gray. Not sure about that, but we'll keep on going now with the light gold. I'm lifting up the squeezer again and turning it slightly to see if that helps with creating a design below. Look at just how many bubbles this creates when taking off that squeezer. Can you see? They're popping on its own. So I pop the rest with the torch and it's looking like an ammonite, I feel. Adding some paint to the sides like I'm doing here will help as you tilt the painting and play around with that design in the center. I think if you wanted an ammonite looking painting, this would be the spot to stop fiddling. Of course, I carried on because I just wanted to experiment. But yeah, it might have made a nice painting just to stop there.
The center part is pretty interesting, but I don't like the muddied ring around that. So I gave it a bit of a torch to pop the air bubbles and then had a little think about it but then scraped it off and just left that middle part to try experiment part two which is using this funnel but in a reverse because I like the serrated edges it had so I'm going to experiment with that next. I started first pouring the colors individually over this funnel but as you can see it just pulls at the bottom it wasn't very effective so I layered a small cup with these three colors the silver the gold and the bronze with magenta and then I did a straight pour over the funnel as you'll see now It's so much more effective as you can see when you layer the cup. So if you try this, please do that. I have no idea what I'm doing there. I think I thought it was a good idea at the time. <laughs> um, but here, look at how beautiful that is up there. It looks like feathers. I'll try that again for sure. After torching out the bubbles, I'm going to wipe away any bits that muddied that I wasn't happy with, like this central section, and then I'll be adding black paint. something strange going on with that um, copper magenta section there so I'm gonna scrape that off and also add black I'm scraping off any other parts that are muddied and adding the black, which I feel makes the other colors pop. So that's going to be the last tweak of the painting. Let's look at the wet finish. How cool is this effect? 
I love the fact that it looks like fire and feathers and scales. It all depends, I guess, on how much you stretch it out. I feel I stretch it out too much over here, but that's cool as a design in itself. I might want to try that in a different painting again. So really glad I tried this funnel. Um, those bits turned out very wispy and delicate from blowing it out. And here we have the part from the citrus squeezer. I'm definitely up for trying that citrus squeezer again, but without using black and white. There it is. That's the first kitchen item. And the second one was, of course, that funnel. There it is. Now let's have a look at the dried finish. It looks great. I love how the feathery look has stayed. You can see the definition with the magenta copper color there. I wonder if I put on some gloss varnish, it will help the silver to regain some of that shininess. Or perhaps if you use a more iridescent paint, it would look really cool against the black. The bit where it's stretched out, it still looks cool. I like the black coming through there. Let's see the part which was made by the squeezer. Looks like pebbles. It's another cool effect. I just love how everything is so well defined. The lines, even the wispy bits look well defined. What do you think? Here it is in the upright position. It looks like a dragon to me. I think that part looks like a head. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye!